Hey everybody, welcome back to another Q&A video. This is my second one and I'm excited for this one. Uh, it's not going to be as long as the first one because I want to keep them short. I think doing the first one as like a 30 minute video was great, but they shouldn't all be 30 minutes long. So these are just going to be in like the 10 to 15 minute range. Uh, so that way we can answer as many questions as possible. So let's start with the first set of questions. And this is from Dexter, the Nostalgic Tuna. And he has a load for me to answer i think about five yes five and i got them on the side on my second screen to answer so we're gonna go from the top to the bottom let's start with the first one which scooby-doo slash dynamite wonder related video or movie do you prefer the scoob one or the scooby-doo crossover movie mask of the blue falcon now i have to be honest it's going to be mass with the blue falcon because that one was actually a proper decent crossover movie where it featured those set two characters. The Scoob movie was a syndication of so many different Hanna-Barbera ca uh, cartoons that you really need to, to look from another angle that it's not really a Blue Falcon movie, it's not really a Scooby-Doo movie, it's basically an introduction to the Hanna-Barbera Cinematic Universe. Yes, it's good, but it doesn't really show off the key traits you would normally get in a combo movie. So I would prefer Scooby-Doo, Mask of the Blue Falcon over to the Scoob adaptation. The next question is, which of these Scooby-Doo movies and TV episodes do you most likely to watch the most? Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School, Scooby-Doo Curse of the Thirteen Ghost, Mystery Solvers Club State Finals, The Gruesome Game of the Gator Ghoul, all of the above. Cool. Which of these movies as TV episodes do I fancy watching the most? It's not going to be Curse of the Thirteen Ghost, and it's not going to be Ghoul School. I would want to say all of the above. But I would probably say the Mystery Solvers Club State Finals and the gruesome game of the Gator Ghouls are probably better than the two movies. Third question is, which episode of the new Scooby-Doo movies and Scooby-Doo Guess Who do you think is the best and why? Okay, this is a really, really tough one. Now, I love the new Scooby-Doo movies. And when it comes to Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, I haven't really watched every single episode <laughs> if i'll be honest i don't think i've actually i've only seen season one and I haven't seen any for season two yet and i've just finished watching season one this year so yeah i'm way behind than everyone else uh so i don't really have a favorite episode from scooby-doo and guess who yet so that's off the table now the new scooby-doo movies now i do have a favorite episode and it's really rare because of all the special guests that has to be the uh, Don Knotts episodes, so the two that featured him are my favourite episodes, guess who's not coming to dinner, and I've, it was another one, I can't remember the name, but yeah, those are my favourite episodes, it was going to be Laura and Hardy, but Don Knotts just has that special place in my heart. Do you think Scooby-Doo also South Olympics should get a reboot, or a comic book reboot? Oh, because they, they had a comic book uh, run as well. Oh, it's really hard to tell. What do I want? Do I want a comic book to add to my comic collection? Or do I want a new series to add to my series collection? Oh, which one do I prefer the most? I would say if they do another All-Stars Laugh Olympics, they should really, like, continue the traits and do it part of the hanna Best Cement Universe. Maybe if they did it down that route, then I would like to see a reboot. Because then you're going to get endless possibilities uh, from, from that. And, you know, with the way things are going, they can definitely do a much better job than they previously done with the old All-Stars. But then again, a comic book is a nice touch. So it really depends on if it would be part... If it was part of the Hannibal Vets Cinema Universe, then definitely I would say do a rebuild of the show. If it's going to be a comic book, then keep it as close to the original, but make it more fancy and modern to this day and age. So, yeah, I'd... I would say I would prefer one or the either, but depending on the situation at hand, so they can both go both ways for me. Question number five from Dexter is, do you think there will ever be a Falcon Force movie that might take place after the events of Scoob and might have these characters to be a member of the team? For a read of the member list, yes, I do believe there will be a Falcon Force movie. I I, I, I do believe like every Hanna-Barbera character is going to get their own show, and I think Blue Falcon is definitely going to get his own show. I just think that they're going to do like Marvel did and expand their universe. They started with Scoob, introduction to the Hammer Bag universe, all the, all the characters that they wanted to show in that movie to see what could happen. 
and I do believe standalone movies and shows are going to happen. We're going to see a lot. And Dexter's last comment is, if you did a collab video with anyone on YouTube, who would it be and what topic you and your YouTube buddy partner would talk about? Hmm. Now, I really like was thinking about this long and hard because remember when you do a collab it has to relate to your channel as well as theirs you can't just react to i don't know i react to a meme channel like i i part I, I do a collab with a meme channel it has no relation to my channel because my channel isn't a meme channel it wouldn't really boost any viewership so it really has to be a channel that does the same sort of stuff you know, whether it does unboxings or Scooby-Doo related topic, it has to be something that we both could talk about that both our audiences love. I probably would say if I had to pick someone to do a collab with, I would probably want to do one with Ashton because I think we can definitely talk about stuff with Scooby-Doo and other related like gaming stuff with Nintendo. So yeah, we can have a podcast or just talk on, on something just to, like, you know, do a collab with and then we can certainly relate with the viewerships because we both do similar stuff with Scooby-Doo and that. So yeah, I would say Ashton would be my best bet to do a collab with in the future. I know with time zones and different locations, it's probably near on impossible, but if I had to pick someone to collab with, it would definitely be Ashton. Okay, so that is Dexter's questions all taken care of. Hopefully, I've answered them all to your liking. The Scooby and Guess Who one, I would probably say come back to me after I finish both seasons, and then I'll give you my answer of best episode and why. <laughs> but for now, I've only seen the first one, so it's not really a good justification if I pick one from there, where later on down the line, I would probably like something from another series that wouldn't make any sense. So, yeah, I'll definitely come back to me on that one. Now we have Amber Knoll, who has... Three, uh, three questions to ask us. So let's start with the first one. What is your favourite Scooby-Doo crossover movie? I would probably have to say it's a Batman crossover. So Scooby-Doo, Batman, Brave and the Bold. It's probably my favourite crossover movie. What is your least favourite Scooby-Doo crossover movie? I don't think I have one. <laughs> uh, I don't really have one that like, I hate or, well, what my least favourite. It's really hard to decide because there's not really a lot of crossover movies when it comes to Scooby-Doo. So yeah, if I had to choose between the ones that like the wrestling ones, the hero ones, I would probably say Scooby-Doo Curses of Speed Demon is my least favourite crossover because it feels more like Fast and Furious than it does WWE. What Scooby-Doo direct-to-TV movie do you want Warner Bros to make in the future? Okay, so Initially, if Courage Cow Dog wasn't going to come out this year, I would definitely say Courage. But since that's already in the works, a Scooby-Doo and Suicide Squad crossover, because that was in the works a, a, a year or two ago, but then it got postponed, and there's been no word of it again. And I was really looking forward to seeing that sort of element in Scooby-Doo, because that's not something we get to see every often, is a Suicide Squad and a Scooby-Doo thing crossing over. So yeah, if, if they were going to do one, I really hope it's with Suicide Squad. It's a long bet, they probably won't do it because it's been shelved, but if they ever do come back to doing it, I would definitely watch that one in a heartbeat. Okay, so now we're on our last set of questions. Four of these are from TJ Brady, and we're gonna start with the first one, your favorite one-off characters. So I don't know whether this is a Scooby-Doo related one, uh, so I'll try and choose a Scooby-Doo one. My favorite one-off character from Scooby-Doo, would probably be the farmer from Space Cook because he just pulls a shotgun on the gang. <laughs> so that's my favourite one-off character. Now if this is not Scooby-Doo related and my favourite one-off character. Oh, I don't know if I have a one-off from another show. I'll probably say Eskinor from The Seven Deadly Sins. Second question from TJ is, if Warner Bros. were to make a sequel movie to a Scooby-Doo series, which series would it be? If they were going to do a sequel to a movie that's already been done in a series, it needs to be done properly and doesn't damage the series that it's from. So take Curse of the Thirteen Ghost. Like, it totally ruined the Thirteen Ghost surprise and didn't really bring justice to the original series. It was a good movie. But I feel like they were really nerfing it rather than anything else. So, yeah, they were going to make a sequel movie to a series. I don't think there is one. I don't think there is one that needs coming back. So, Cur 13 Goes to Scooby-Doo, we've already got a sequel to that one. We don't really need any for the Scooby-Doo show syndications because most of them were all-stars and the Scooby-Doo dynamic duo crossover. Um, maybe, maybe, this is a long shot, maybe they could do a movie sequel 
with Scooby-Doo and Richie Rich, you know, do them as a sequel, that will be good in the movie format because we haven't actually seen Richie Rich on the screens in a long time and the series have never been fully released on box set or DVD and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I really hope like that that would be a good one to do, do a movie crossover bit is to do to do a finale of meeting up with Richie Rich when he's older and like seeing how that incorporates in the Scoobverse and that. Because we saw it in, in The Curse of the Thirteen Ghosts where we saw Flim Flam a bit older and the gang didn't old, but anyhow. Um, so it is possible that they could go down that line with the Richie Rich. Third question from TJ Bradley is, do you support any football team or sports team? Now, I don't really support any sports team, but my family is a supporter of Southampton Football Club. So, yes, you would probably say if I had to choose a football team, it'd be Southampton because of my family bit. But other than that, I don't really support a favourite team. I would go watch it, but I'm not really into that sort of thing. I play sports, I watch it, but I'm not a huge fan. TJ's last question, least favourite monster and favourite monsters. Probably the Loch Ness monster from the Loch Ness um, movie. That's my least favourite monster because it's just been used so many times in the show it was just boring at that point and then my favorite monster has to be the clown from mystery incorporated that was a brilliant the baby clown from mystery incorporated and that's a good monster that is definitely up there as a really creepy clown like top notch right and that is it for today's q a video i have no idea how long this video is but i'll probably have to edit it down <laughs> uh, another long one but hey ho it is what it is but hopefully you guys have enjoyed i will do another q a in another couple of months like i try and keep it as separate as possible because i don't want to do them on a regular basis because then you run out of cool stuff to answer but yeah i will definitely set a date for another q a but i hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next awesome video but until then take care